Good morning, guys. It is Monday morning, probably 10.15ish. I've been awake with him for quite a while. I'm pretty sure he's in his four-month regression stage and, like, growth spurt and all that stuff because he eats all the time and he wakes me up in the middle of the night all the time. So I've been having really weird dreams and just I feel so tired. Like, I can't even explain how tired I am. <laughs> Obviously, since I've been up for a while, I did get to do my makeup and stuff after I showered and because I want to do a video later, um, so I need to have makeup on, or I want to have makeup on. But yesterday, I planned to do cloth diapering, like, started yesterday, and it totally didn't happen because I think that's the most tired I've been in forever. Like, I literally felt more tired than after I gave birth to him. Um, I was, like, on the verge of tears. That's how tired I was. And I tried to go back to sleep. I think from, like, 10 to 12 we took a nap, so that was good, but... I barely helped and that's kind of how I feel today not that tired but when I first got up I was just like how am I gonna get through today like how am I gonna survive I'm falling asleep but um I think once I get some food in me it'll help so I'm gonna go feed him and change his diapers so that he'll let me and then I'll catch up with you guys after Baby boy has awakened. He's still a little bit sleepy, but this side of his face is like pink because that's the side of his face he was sleeping on. Oh yeah. Oh, his eyebrows are so soft. Like, that's so nice. But what a good boy. He smells kind of like poop. So I don't know if that's because he just farted. I did hear him fart, <laughs> but there might be poop. It's a mystery that I'm going to have to solve in a minute. Um, he slept just long enough for me to do the video that I want to do. So I'm very proud Thank you. Oh, 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 you hitting? And now we're probably going to change his diaper and play a little bit. <laughs> he got so sad because after I changed his diaper, I went to wash my hands and he was like, You abandoned me? I didn't abandon you. I love you. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Look at that face. Look at that face. Look at his shirt. He doesn't, well, it's a onesie, but he doesn't quite fit in it. Kind of loosey-goosey. But talk about how cute I am. You're so cute, huh? Want me to sing? Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. He's so freaking handsome. Look at all his hair. I'm so happy now that he has hair. <laughs> that was just a sad time when you had baby acne and you were balding. Yeah, you're so cute. Yeah, you're so cute. And I love his little dimples and his fat little cheeks. Oh, oh. Oh, Ronan. What's that about? Now I'm gonna have to change you. All right, okay. <laughs> He's changed into a different outfit, which was basically a workout for me, guys, because he's crazy now. He, like, tries to roll over while I'm changing him. He's twisting and turning, and he tries to grab onto the clothes, like, as his hand is, like, coming through them. So then it's like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. So we did a bit of washcloth magic on that one because there's no way I'm going to change him for a second time. It was basically just at his collar, so he's okay. He's still yawning, which is, why are you always yawning after you wake up? You had a good nap. Mama is tired. I should be yawning. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, so outfit is saved. Um, I'm very hot and overheated by holding him, so I'm going to open some doors, turn on some fans. I think it's probably, like, maybe 80 outside, but it doesn't feel as hot as it has been, so I'm very grateful. Ronan is playing in his swing, so I'm gonna have some watermelon. I don't even really like watermelon that much, but like, when it's hot, I'll eat anything cold, and this is pretty much the only fruit that we have. Talking to Linz, that's my old bagel, and also I just watched Sarah Ray Vargas, her boy shaved his head, and it like broke my heart, but at the same time, he looks really cute now. And I'm going to watch Lizzie and Family. This is my friend. You should go check her out. Um, she just started vlogging. Her daughter and son are super cute. So that's what I'm about to do. We are outside now with the puppies. And I don't even know what they're doing. If they're like looking for sticks to eat or something. They're always getting into something. It's not good. Puppies, go play. Go get them. Get them. There they go. 
but we are just hanging out. Um, I mean, I don't like being inside all day, so I can only assume Ronan doesn't either. He likes to look at some new stuff. He is sleepy looking though. I don't know why. He's like so tired during the day. It must just be his growth spurt, but I feel bad because he just looks so weary eyed and my mom says dungy, but I don't even know what that means to be honest. Are you trying to eat your own shirt? It's a good idea. My hair is really bothering me guys. I straightened my hair today instead of curling it and I actually don't like wearing my hair straight so that's probably why most of the time you'll see me either with my hair up or it'll be curled because when I wear it straight I feel like it gets tangled really fast and it just looks really crappy. I have to brush it like a million times a day. Literally like every 10 minutes I feel like I want to brush my hair so <laughs> that's why when I curl it I feel like you can't really tell as much but oh well too late I went for the fast easy option and that was my bad but yeah, just chilling outside, listening to the birds tweeting in the background. Um, but I'm not sure what we're going to do today. Um, because he's so tired, he doesn't really do as much. I mean, obviously he's a baby, he doesn't do much, right? But <laughs> he doesn't really want to like stand as much or like play, if you know what I mean. Or like he doesn't want me to read books to him. So I guess we're just going to swing. Just look around and be deep in thought. And we're also going to practice touching our toes, which is what we're doing right now. I just kind of hold his leg for him a little bit, and then he does the rest. Yeah, you got your toe. <sighs> I really need to get a TV necklace. As you can see, he is pulling on my metal necklace and trying to chew it. I also don't know if I've told you guys already in this vlog, I can never remember, but he has started to, when I hold him in this position, he reaches over and smacks and grabs and pinches my boobs. Okay, so I had to come sit down because he was getting cranky in that position. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I was saying. I think I was just saying that it's kind of awkward in public and I can't really teach him any different because he's so young, he doesn't know the difference. And it's not like he's trying to do it like, like, give me food, like I'm hungry. Oh, are you still cranky? What you doing? He just does it like for fun. So it's kind of funny, <laughs> but kind of awkward. It has been a while, it's like almost 3 o'clock, but Ronan did take a second nap when I nursed him again, so I was doing like another video project and the camera is dead. Like, it's a little bit charged now because we've just been playing, but he's just not... Oh, you're kicking me? He's not in the mood um, to really play that much even, like... He's pretty much only in the mood to suck on his hands and be grumpy, so that's too bad because he doesn't like me to sing to him or read a book to him play with him he just wants to kick me with these little feet and complain we are in the garage now um, because I am going to take him for a walk despite the fact that I really don't want to um, best case scenario he'll fall asleep second best case scenario he will be distracted enough by looking around that he will not cry which is what he's been doing inside so I did a little bit of tummy time until he started screaming and now we're gonna go on a walk and I can't even catch any Pokemon because my data like did a little warning and said like you're about to go out of data so that's depressing but I hope he enjoys this and my neighbors gave us this little like bug netting thing that I can put down over him so that is helpful I guess I don't know if it really I don't think bugs really fly in here when we're walking but you can't be too careful with a baby so he's protected and confused Ugh, I'm friggin sweaty um at the other end of this street is a huge hill that I just pushed Ronan up and I got hollered at so yeah men never cease to like disgust me pretty much like who hollers and catcalls at a girl who's pushing her baby up a hill so yeah I was very unimpressed but now I'm at the other end of the street which means I have to push him up my own hill and I'm sweaty and I can't wait to change my shirt to be honest um, but yeah everyone was looking at me really weird when I was vlogging because it looks like I'm taking a selfie. So every car that passes by like judges me hardcore. Um, my neighbor is backing out of their driveway right now and they're probably judging me right now. So I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna go home. But first I'm gonna show you Ronan. He's behaving pretty well. I guess he just likes to look around, so that's good. Um, and hopefully he'll be just as pleased when we get home, but probably not. I might put him in the water in the bath and just let him splash around. <laughs> Pretty much as soon as I put him in the water, he was very happy, so I'm just keeping an eye on him because he is a twister and a turner, and I do not want you to turn over in the water. No drowning, okay? Only splashing. 
today I pretty much take not crying as being happy because he's just having a rough time, so yeah. Yeah, you love to splash. And I might as well try and clean this neck while we're in here, huh? And he was so sweaty when I took him out of the stroller, so this probably feels really good. I'm trying to do a London Bridge. He, just, he got the camera, guys. You splashed the camera. Yeah. Woo! Well, that was fun. Now the pack and play is a little bit wet from his head, but it's okay. He's just nomming on this towel. And look how cute he is. Like, oh, my little bundle. Look at these little footsies. Sticking right out. He's just happily watching the fish, so. I think mom's gonna come home soon, and hopefully we'll go to the grocery store with her because I would like to get out of the house and into an environment that has air conditioning. Nana's loving on him. And we're gonna go to the grocery store and the pet store. He's pretty tired though, so we're hoping he's gonna fall asleep in the car. I love his little legs when they're splayed out like that. It looks so comfy. Yes, you gotta learn to go in the carry thing. Yeah, don't you want me to carry you? You can ride like this. Yeah. Just actually, I'm gonna headbutt you. That's what he does when I put him in the carrier, he headbutts me. We are at the pet store now. Ronan is holding my keys for me. They don't have a cat here though today, which is sad. But they do have some cute rats. Some of you might think rats are ugly, but I think they're cute. I used to have one as a pet, actually. We're picking out some puppy pee pads for Bronx to put under his litter box because he's disgusting. Look at this cool fish thing. He can swim like up this into the top of it. That's pretty neat, huh? Okay, I don't know if anyone else likes to know what you got, but I got bagels, avocado, Brussels sprouts. My mom got artichoke hearts, a potato. This is barbecue salmon frozen berries, lactate milk, vanilla yogurt, these are for my hair, some whole wheat pasta, some tomato sauce, some wine, cereal, juice, and eggs. And Ronan is like really struggling <laughs> to stay awake at this point. Well we've been home for a while, I nursed Ronan, I'm pretty sure he just pooped. He might still be trying to poop actually. <laughs> And I am currently cooking. I've got my Brussels sprouts in the butter and garlic and lemon juice. And I've already got the bourbon marinated salmon and my potatoes. So I'm starving. I'm very ready to eat. So I actually came outside to end the vlog because Ronan is sleeping now. It's like 8 o'clock so I'm sure he's going to wake up like many times throughout the night since he's gone to bed so early. Um, and I'm sorry this vlog has been just boring and not very much Ronan in it. Um, he just wasn't with it today. He's very like out of it. My mom even noticed that he's very like The only focus he has today is just he wants to eat like every hour other than that He could care less about anything. He doesn't care if I sing to him or if I read to him He just he just wants the boobs. So yeah, I gave it to him whenever he wanted and now he's asleep um, And I'm sorry that I don't remember who asked this question of the day because my phone isn't on me but someone did ask um what my belief on like life after death is and pretty much you might know I'm not religious so I don't have any like set rules about that I kind of live my life thinking that I don't know how to explain this I'm so bad at talking about this kind of stuff but basically I'm pretty open-minded about it I try not to worry about that kind of stuff my my focus basically is on living a good life affecting others you know in a good way um, being happy and stuff like that. I think if you do all that, if you're just generally a good person and try your best to be a good person your whole life and just, you know, live life to the fullest, then whether, oh, mosquito, <laughs> whether you are religious or not, you will be like morally good. And if you, if there happens to be a God, then you're all set basically because you've been a good person. Um, if that makes sense, I'm just like rambling. But so yeah, life after death, I'm just not sure. You know what I mean? Like, when I think about it, I tend to think that we're just all going to be dirt after a while. But then again, I'm like, where do our souls go? So, it's all a big mystery to me that I'm open to. I kind of hope there's a heaven. That would be nice. I like to think that all my animals are there and that I'm going to get to, like, hang out with them. But I'm really not sure. 
Um, but I think I might have heard Ronan crying. The audio monitor is on, and I told my mom to keep an ear out for him, so I don't want her to have to deal with him. So I'm gonna go now, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> yeah, is that fun? Oh. Are you hanging upside down?